Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Michael Cruz Show. I'm your host, Carter Nutter, and with me today is the head coach of the Mass and Tigers, Michael Cruz. We want to thank our sponsor, Reliable Heating and Cooling. Coach, the Tigers are now 5-6 and six after winning two out of three this past week. First, let's talk about the loss at home last Friday night to Glen Oak. Tell us more about that game against the Golden Eagles. Yeah, that was one we really feel like we let get away. Uh, you know, Glen Oak's a very uh, talented team, very well coached, um, and I thought that they came out and they just outworked us for 32 minutes. Uh, I actually, I, I want to amend that, 29 minutes. Uh, we had a nice little three minute stretch there where we, we really uh, cranked it up, but uh, to beat teams like that, you're gonna have to play a lot harder than, than just three minutes. And, uh, you know, they packed it in against us uh, in, in a two, three zone. and. You know, we missed our first 12 three-pointers of the game, and, and so the combination of the, the lack of effort uh, along with not making shots really hurt us on Friday night. Last Saturday, the team picked up a road win at Akron East. How about some more details on that win? Yeah, that was a good win for us. Uh, Akron East is, uh, is actually a very talented team. Um, they even surprised me a little bit in terms of the talent that they have. Uh, the, the, the film that I saw on them didn't do justice. You know, we were shorthanded uh, two of our starters, uh, Brett Martin and Tyler Kearns, and, and I thought our kids played really hard. Uh, ended up winning the game by seven, but uh, minus the first quarter where we struggled a little bit, we were pretty much in control the entire game. Uh, I thought our effort still needed to be better, but uh, it was one of the better efforts we'd had to this point, and, and certainly good to get that win after losing the night prior. And finally, this past Tuesday, the Tigers earned another road win, beating St. Thomas Aquinas. How about summarizing that win for us? Yeah, I mean, anytime you can beat a team by 38 points, it's always it's always a good night for sure. Uh, you know, St. Thomas is a solid team, and, and road wins are hard to come by, uh, let alone by that margin. Uh, we, we made some shots, certainly. Uh, getting Brett back was, was definitely big. He had 29 points for us. Um, but also, uh, our effort was great, especially on the defensive side of the floor. Created 25 turnovers. And anytime we can create 25 ton turnovers, we're going to score a lot of points. Um, you know, we tell our guys our best offense is our defense. So, uh, a really good win for us. Um, right on time because we've got a really tough opponent coming up on Sunday. Do you feel like your team is starting to turn things around now as we are officially halfway through the regular season? It's crazy that we're already at the halfway point for sure, but uh, I definitely think we're playing much better basketball than we were even a week or two ago. Uh, we still have a long ways to go to get where we want to, and we don't have a lot of time to, to make up the difference because uh, we probably have the hardest schedule in the state of Ohio uh, the rest of, of January. So, uh, you know, I definitely think we're playing better, uh, but we've still got a, a lot of work we need to do. And with uh, four days of practice between now and our next game, it's really important that we, uh, we get after it starting today. We'll talk more with Coach Cruz, a Media Tiger player, in a moment. But first, this word from Reliable Heating and Cooling. Everything that goes into a Lennox system is engineered for absolute comfort. Like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity. Or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half off your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Reliable Heating and Cooling. Get the latest innovation and technology at Reliable. Linux. Innovation never felt so good. Thanks to Reliable Heating and Cooling, and welcome back to the Michael Cruz Show. Normally we have a Tiger player. Due to that player having exams, we are going to continue with Coach Cruz. Coach, Massa will play two more games in the next week. First up, the Tigers will once again participate in the Mercy Medical Classic at North Canton Hoover on Sunday. Tell us more about that event and who your team is matched up against. Yeah, it, it's a great event because there's, uh, I think, over the course of two days, um, over 14 varsity basketball games. Um, you know, those types of events tend to bring a lot of college coaches, which is important to me because we want our kids to have that opportunity to play at the next level. So we're very excited to be in it. Uh, this year, uh, like last year, we have a great opponent in uh, Toledo Central Catholic. Um, they have one loss um, at this point in the season, so it's going to be one of our uh, more tougher opponents that we've faced to this point in the year. But uh, like we tell our guys, great opponents are also great opportunities. Oh. Then next Tuesday night, the Tigers come back home to face Akron Ellett. How about a scouting report on the Orangemen? 
Um, they're very good, they're very big, they're very physical, and they're very athletic. Uh, again, going to be a tremendous challenge for us. Um, you know, Ellett was a team that we played last year, lost to them by, I think it ended up being six points at their place. Um, so, you know, we know that it's going to be a tough game. Um, they actually just last week beat uh, Green at Green, who's been one of the hottest teams in the district so far. Um, so we know it's going to be a tremendous challenge, uh, just like Sunday. Uh, you know, of course, right now the focus is on Sunday, but, uh, but another great opportunity for us to make a statement in our district. And just so Tiger fans can plan ahead a little bit, tell us about your upcoming game against Cincinnati Moeller on Saturday, January 20th. Yeah, so uh, they're the number one team in the state for a reason. Uh, you know, last year they, they made it all the way to the state championship game, losing to to our uh, neighbors Jackson by one point uh, in the state championship game and, and they return almost everybody so uh, you know we we knew when we scheduled it it was going to be a tremendous challenge for us but we we know that that's the type of team that we not only need to be able to compete with but beat um, if we want to get where we want to get which is winning a state championship someday so uh, another great uh, opponent and another great opportunity for us um, so definitely a very very busy week coming up here and like I mentioned earlier uh, I think we've got the hardest schedule in the state of Ohio for the remainder of the month. Thanks, Coach. As we wrap up another edition of the Michael Cruz Show, one, we want to thank Reliable Heating and Cooling for sponsoring our program. And thanks to Coach Cruz for joining us. I'm your host, Carter Nutter. Thanks for watching, and as always, go Tigers. Go Tigers.